so I'm trying to demonstrate here um, some problems I've been having with Witcher 2, and this is actually with the um, the new uh, patch or I guess mod uh, that they released for the combat rebalance. And it seems it addresses a few issues that I named, but it, it's a lot of the core problems and glitches I've had with the game remain. So, for example, I'm trying to walk through this door, and I I attack it. It, it doesn't want to open. Oh, there, that time it opened. Um, when fighting, a lot of times when I get blocked, nothing happens, and you can you can walk um, my vigor Die! down when I'm doing this. It just won't do it for some reason. You can just reload and get it over with. The new Quen thing is kind of clever, but I'm a little bit disappointed that he doesn't like raise his shield sword proper. Look, I still can't get the freaking door. Go through the door. This guy is a bastard um, in the original game as well as in the mod. Because he'll, he'll kill you in one hit and it takes you something like 20 to whittle him down. And it's really hard to actually hit him without getting in his range to where he can kill you in one hit. I don't know, I just thought that maybe the first mini boss fight of the game could be a little bit less. Uh, <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
the Baroness! And also, even with Swallow, he doesn't regenerate anything during combat. It's a little bit annoying. I just got sad that I'm almost depending on uh, the boss of the game in order to defeat him. does move like an old man in this game. So how about that? I try and get the glitch to appear and it won't appear. I'm gonna keep trying, damn it. They refuse to be defeated by Murphy's Law. Notice I still have to roll about a lot slower than me rolling out of things slightly less pathetic. Take no prisoners! 
fuck are you doing? Yeah. No, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. There we go. Yeah, thanks, Geralt. I really wanted you. Never mind. Open door, open door, open door, not opening door, that's not how you open the door. Fucking idiot. You're both gonna just stand there? Fine. Open door, open door. Damn it, you almost missed that fucking can. Press those bodies! For the bodies! Men and knights, they're traitors! Take no prisoners! For the baroness! That was definitely way harder than it should have been. Being the prologue and all. I still didn't get that glitch to show up, so. Murphy's Law Strikes again, I guess. I guess I just have to take my word for it. I mean, I, I do make sure my, my vigor was not empty and I'm still not able to block sometimes. I'll just I'll match the, the block button and it just does nothing. He'll just stand there. Just, just stand there staring down the enemy like this until somebody kills him. I don't understand it. I mean, the vigor will be full. It's not like he's lacking in vigor. I forget where the hell I'm supposed to go. I haven't played this in a while. Can you tell? Oh, right, it's on the gatehouse. Waste high fence, waste invisible waste high fence. Open. Uh, yeah, Geralt's biggest enemy in this game are fucking doors. He cannot figure them out. Well, I love the the button tapping hands. By the way, it's my favorite part of this game. Because who doesn't like? Tedious, repetitive, pointless button mashing mini games. You have just become the most titled witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoyatel on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Scoyatel. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. 
Didn't You're either telling the truth about that or we will ask you cut scenes and like, like I you told him that before. He just now remembers this, and this is the important part, the part that you already told him. Uh, whatever. Anyhow, um, it, 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 if this patch or this this mod is is maybe a little tiny bit better, in my opinion. Uh, some of the the beefs and the equipment rebalances is very much appreciated. The game mechanics are still pretty broken. Um, the lag is a little bit less, which is a good thing. I mean, it's not a night and day difference, but it's a lot better than it was. So overall, I mean, it's an improvement. I really hope, though, that they address some of the you know, bigger core issues with the gameplay eventually uh, yeah, when they make Witcher 3, so... That's that's just this in a nutshell, I guess. I mean, it, it, the core of it hasn't really changed that much. They just added a few, um, I guess, gimmicks to the, the, the core gameplay, but not um, fundamentally changed it anyway. You still have to roll out of the way of all your enemies. Um, the, uh, I guess, I guess you hold walk to sidestep, but you, ha you have to be locked onto an enemy and holding the walk key in order to sidestep instead of just rolling like you normally do, and that makes it, um, it's too much of a burden to use. I mean, really, you still resort to rolling away from your enemies all the time. Uh, so it's kind of uh, disappointing, especially since they, they, they tried to highlight that in their, their change log. This was going to be a major game changer, it just isn't. Um, it really needs to be automatic, and he needs to be able to sidestep. I, I'm okay with maybe like if there's a, a button you press to toggle between you know high profile and low profile moments, be sidestepping versus rolling. Um, you know that would that would make it fluid while not forcing you to do one or the other. Um, but the the lock on needs to not be necessary, and the lock on also. Um, I, I guess it should be automatic. He needs to. Uh, be able to differentiate who you're targeting and who you're not based off of where your cursor is and not just some random roll of the dice or, or who you lock on to. Uh, it's just my experience with this so far has been lackluster. A lot of the times you lock on to, uh, or if you don't lock on to someone, you'll be pointing directly at someone you want to kill and you'll have a razor sword and you point at him, you, you try and uh, quick attack to try and knock him back before he can hit you. And Garrett will turn around, turn his back to the person you're aiming directly at, and lunge at some character off screen behind the camera that's not even a threat, turning his back to the guy and getting killed. I mean, it's, it happens all the time. And my first playthrough of the game, this was so aggravating to me that I actually I hacked the game to get rid of the backstab damage and to get rid of, uh, or and to raise Geralt's defenses to the point where I didn't have to worry about getting stabbed in the back when he glitched out and did something stupid like that, because it happens so often. I just couldn't, couldn't play the game and have fun uh, without ruling that factor out, and it's, it just it it ruined the challenge of the game uh, having to do that. So I mean, and that's still around, but I haven't fixed that. So there's, there's a lot of issues with, you know, just the targeting and the overall intelligence of the game. It doesn't seem to know what you're trying to do. It doesn't seem to be fluid, um, you know, the, the way other games are. And, and Witcher 1, is, is worth a mention here, is, is that it's a fundamentally different combat style from Witcher 1. Uh, so it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges. Witcher 1 was great in its own way. It didn't have some of these fallbacks because the combat style was different. Um, it wasn't so much about locking on to enemies and, and pairing them one-on-one, -on -one. it was more about aiming in their general direction and, and lining up combos to, to take them out, which I mean, is, is a little bit, it, I guess it seems more um, less refined on the surface, but it worked well for the Witcher game, and uh, uh, especially you know, the alchemy system in Witcher 1 was a lot better. It, it certainly lacks any sort of, of uh, a power or advantage in Witcher 2, the fact that you need to find safe places to drink your potions, and there's no foretelling um, you know, when you're going to need to do that before it's too late. Uh, it's, 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 you have to, you know, if you want to play an alchemist, you have to do it on your second playthrough, <laughs> because you already know then where you can stop and drink potions and where you can't. Uh, so things like that. I mean, it was just very unintuitive uh, in Witcher 2, and I mean, I think that they could make this style of combat work. They need to iron out a lot of the bugs. They need to make it a lot more fluid and a lot less um, 
I guess, unwieldy uh, in order to to make it work. Uh, but barring that, I would have preferred the, the combat style of Witcher 1, which was, it was a lot more... Um, uh, it seemed less personal, but it, was, it, was, uh, it worked a lot better. And it, all overall, I mean, all of the... Uh, the game itself, as far as the overall quality, uh, it's all about the storyline and the moral changes and that stuff. And so, I mean, combat is a great thing to have in this game. It, it makes the game badass. It makes your character badass. It gives him some some manner of depth, but at the same time, it's it's, um, it's all about the story. So, I'd rather have you know combat that is um, usable, but maybe not the greatest, and still have uh, a better story. And that way you can focus more on the story and not worry about, um, you know, is the game going to fuck me in the ass again the next time I try and attack someone and it decides not to because, well, fuck you, the controls are broken. Um, you know, and that was my experience with Witcher 2, and that's why um, I really just I didn't enjoy it as much as the first game. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's my preference. I mean, maybe other people had different experiences. Maybe some of them didn't have these same glitches that I experienced. But... Overall, I mean, that's, that's my take on it. Take it or leave it. I, I didn't really enjoy this game because uh, it was just broken in so many ways. There was no... In order to make it playable, you had to remove the challenge. Uh, and the, this story wasn't as good as the first game, I don't think. So, um, take it or leave it. But uh, there's your review.